in my heart. Watch it, Casey's too loud. Turn down a bit. Da, 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 da. And we're recording. So no swear words. <laughs> I don't swear. Do that. Gordon Ann. That's that Gordon, isn't it? Yeah. He's in there. I can hear him. And he's got the fish tank going. What time is it? Oh yeah, started on time. No, I had um my phone went Oh he's had his haircut as well, look. Oh my god. Looks almost looks as bold as I am. Not quite that old though. <laughs> looks very handsome. But I was a few years younger. Yeah, you fancy yourself, I know. Actually, I'm not a, I'm not a huggy person. <laughs> I'm British, don't you know? Well, we don't, yeah, that's right. Oh, Paulie! Hello, all right? Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, yeah. Trying to... I've recovered from painting the blooming moon, I know that. <laughs> I didn't like it when I first started, but then it got better as I went on. But, uh, yeah, I think background that. Yeah. It's difficult, I thought, but. It, it is if unless you got some in unless you got indigo in your palette, you're going to struggle. Yeah. To get yeah. that done, well, that's what I discovered, wasn't it? So. <laughs> it was a, but then, uh, like we're always saying. It, we don't do it because it's easy. We do it because it's the no, challenge. <laughs> I think, yeah. I think yeah. we're sort of, sort of getting to the air to the. Um... Oh, I just had a funny thought. I I copied a a picture from um, the internet yesterday. I thought, oh yeah, we could try that one on the on the art group. But I was pondering around here this morning, thinking, well, if we do that. That's going to be a two-week job. <laughs> it was uh, tell, it was Saint Ives. Oh right, Saint Ives Harbour. A lot of work in ah. <laughs> Remind me, and I'll show you. I'll show you before I go. No, I'm not going to remind you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was just saying, like talk of challenges. There was one. I was like horrendous. That was. Well, no, it's. I thought, well, that's a stretch a big piece of paper, do a painting of that, and spend, I don't know, weeks, months even doing a really good quality one, and then just rely on selling prints of it because it's such a brilliant picture. Yeah. And the amount of detail, it's uh, very clever. I'm early today, so. <sighs> Where's everybody else this morning? Oh, they don't. Gordon's had a haircut. Yeah. He look, <laughs> looks almost human. <laughs> we're, we're, um, we're off camping end of this week, Dave. Oh, I love you. Um, I'll miss you. Well, we don't know when we're coming back at the moment. Oh, that's fair enough. Okay. Well, you'll have to find a Zoom link while you're there. Have you got not got internet? Not really. We, we, we haven't even got telephone on that side, I don't think. Oh, uh, well. That's, uh, Anne's phone is the only one we can actually get anything done, I think. But um, we'll have to let you know on that. Yeah, that's all right. Don't worry. Yeah. The, um, yeah, what... We haven't got a complete week at home until about October, I think. Crikey. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, they're, built, they're building a big estate at the back of us, well, a 40-hour estate. And they've 
got three massive diggers and everything else turning rocks up at the moment and operating the uh, pneumatic drills just trying to break the old uh, site up so um, we are uh, emigrating for a little bit <coughs> away from home really. we had got it planned anyway most of the, uh, the stuff but uh, we disappeared in the end of this week so do it while yeah. they while you can because the i reckon it's yeah. well we don't know do i the way th i'm looking at the news thinking oh dear. yeah i know idiots it's, sorry, isn't it? yeah. it's not the the virus ain't the problem it's the bloody people oh uh, yeah i was just gonna say that mm -hmm. they keep blaming boris but it's not his fault is it <laughs> Well, he's the, he's the stage manager. That's the problem. Mm. Oh, here comes Christine. Chrissy, Chrissy B. Um. Chrissy, hey, Chrissy B. You're uh, that's good. You could be a um, name like that. You could be a pop star, can you? <laughs> morning, all. Good morning. And at number five, it's Chrissy B with her latest <laughs> single. It's me. <mean. laughs> <laughs> yeah, Got no picture. Never been in one, one. I'll ask her to do it, shall I? I'm good at that. <laughs> ask to start the video. It helps people when they're on the phone Hello. because it, it comes up with a little <laughs> doodah. Thank you, Dave. <laughs> Very clever. Thank you. Thank you. It, oh. Well, no, because it. Because it saves you farting around with your buttons, don't you think? Oh, wow. <laughs> indeed, that's very clever. <laughs> and then if you, if you get if you get Terry, by the time he, if you don't do it with Terry, by then he's his phone's gone it's out the window. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Any sign of him today? Or no, I ch I checked I checked just now see if he bought a ticket and he hadn't. Right, right. He's given up then. Well, no, I haven't got, I, I never say never with Terry. <laughs> okay. And what happened to John? Never see him now. So. He hasn't rung me up either. All right. Which is a bit disconcerting. Carol's just turned up. All Ask right. her to start her video. <laughs> I'm not sure about Joyce. I can't remember if she said she was away or not. Yeah, she's away. She is away. She did send me a thing saying an email saying that um car broke down on the am a27 dual carriageway oh no on the way there or back i think she's yeah she went to chichester wasn't she yeah she was home from there oh she's back yeah so oh. she might turn up and uh yeah the clutch blew up on her car so how scary is that yeah. That is scary on the motorway, yeah. Yeah. Well, scary any time, but mm. not nice. Yes. Oh, well. I don't expect she was on her own. Carol's having trouble at the moment, but that's it. Come on, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. Here's Annie Gordon. Morning, Anne. <laughs> Hi, Anne. She hasn't had her hair cut as well. No. <laughs> no. I haven't. <laughs> yeah, I'm off loading in it. How's everybody? Yeah, fine, thank you. I can only just hear you, Anne. You'll have to shake. Yeah. Oh, okay. Probably better that one. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get um, your battery, Chris? Carol's having a lot of trouble there. It, it should be delivered any day. Oh, good. Yeah, I'm expecting it any day now. What was it? A fridge? No, oh, no. Ba the battery. Power van battery. Leisure battery. Yeah. Yes, that died. The one on my car died in the first lockdown, and oh, the caravan yeah. ones died in the second lockdown. <laughs> Are you going day. away at all, Chris, in your caravan? Or yeah, me and Anne and Gordon are going at the end of the month, just for a weekend. Right, right. How posh is that? Not at hey, all. Well done, Carol. You've done it. <laughs> she done it. Has she done it? Well, I've got the video. Um, I've got hello, a video. Carol. Hi, 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 Carol. Hi,
Oh, 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 oh. oh there she goes. <laughs> Can't hear you, Carol. Turn the volume up on the phone. She's going to get angry. <laughs> I can almost sense. Okay. <laughs> I can almost sense it. Bloody phone. <laughs> oh. oh, she's still got a microphone off. Yeah. Could be a rebate. <laughs> Well, fine. Um, right, no, really, really? no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's working. No. We've got a sound, no picture now. Well, I've got it. I'm like, can you send the link to my iPad? Because it hasn't come through on my iPad. I hate doing it on my phone. Okay, on the iCloud, yeah? Yeah, try that. There's nothing came through this week. I don't know why. I've been looking. Right, I'll have a look, see if it comes through before I go off on this. I thought I did. Well, yeah, it's come through on my phone. Oh, I don't know. They just no, it should have cut. I'll, I'll send you another one on the iPhone. Two. Carol. Yeah, but I want I, to... On iCloud, you are. <laughs> yeah. Hang on. iCloud. No, all I, just, I've, all I just, I've got is... Oh, hang on. I just sent you another one. Yeah. Um... Oh, I've got it now. Hang on. Can I come to? Can I go off on this and then go on on that? Yeah, do that. That's probably yeah. quicker. Yeah. Okay. See you in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't leave this now. Oh. oh. Leave. It won't let me leave. My friend. This could be a. Could, just could we have a lesson in IT as well, Dave. Oh, I feel like slinging it out the window. It won't let me leave. Why won't it let me leave? Hang on. Hello, John. You cut me off, and then I'll start again. I've got rid of her. I've never, that's, the, <laughs> that's the first time I've ever done that. It's horrible. <laughs> it's a horrible feeling to delete What's something, that? remove remove someone from the group is horrible. You know, she's back. <laughs> She's back. I'm back. Hello. Oh, it's Joyce as well. Hey, Joyce. Hello. Oh, hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Another hi. glow. How's everybody? How are you? Oh, fine, thanks. How are am you? Am I there or not? Yeah, yeah. you're there. Well, Carol, I am there. Yeah. Okay. I haven't got oh, Joyce. That's it. <laughs> oh, that's a bit frustrating, oh, isn't it? <laughs> The only one we're missing is Terry. I don't think he's coming. Uh, no, nah, I'm pretty uh, sure he is. We hear you. Um, had a bit of any, news, any news of John? Sorry. Do you want a second person to say that? No, I haven't. Sorry. I haven't. He hasn't Chris, rung me. Christina, sorry, did you? <laughs> no, he hasn't rung me. Did you enjoy your, your um, break, Joyce? It was absolutely gorgeous, thank Good. you. And Good. we didn't have any rain until Saturday, which was even better. Oh, good. So, and apart from the uh, the car problem, uh, it was all wonderful. Lovely. That's good. I heard about the car. That must have been horrendous. Yeah, that, was, that, that wasn't good. Mm. No, definitely not good. Not a recommendation. But, no. uh, could have been worse. Oh. No, definitely not. Fortunately, we got it sorted. Unfortunately, we were there until yesterday. So otherwise, we would just have been there till Friday. And that would have been a bit of a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Although I'm sure the breakdown would have got us back um, home. But uh, hey ho. <laughs> Happened to me and Mel. We didn't get to the windmill. Um, that that was on the cards, but we didn't get them. Amberly, um, isn't it? I've got my earphones in at the moment because uh, we've got family staying this week, which is lovely. And I don't know if you pick up background noise if I've got the earphones in, but I will. Um, I will mute it when we when Dave starts painting, so uh, you won't get all the <laughs> the goings on <laughs> background. <laughs> 
Yeah. Oh. Meow. Oh. Meow. Oh wow. That's that's um sapphire. I I forgot. I, I left it on the board. I was working on that. Um, the okay. last. My son. I did that house thing, and mm -hmm. one of the things in the, even in the house on the house picture, there's a little cat sat in the thing. And he gave me a picture, and I said, "Oh, I like that cat. Oh, can you do that for me, Dad? Do that. As well. <laughs> that look just a little one. So oh, I have. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I've nearly finished it. I've just got to tighten it up. Today, today's today's adventure is. Um, <clears throat> Okay, see you later before you get started. I'll leave it running, Dave. I'm, I'm popping out with it. He's a globetrotter, that Gordon, isn't he? <laughs> He's, that was on Friday, wasn't it? Me and Chris were chatting away there. <laughs> oh, fr no, last Friday. Wasn't That's it, before, wasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> chatting away. <laughs> and you're chatting to Gordon, and I'm sort of responding, and then they suddenly look, hang on, Chris, he ain't there. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. They'd gone AWOL. <laughs> yeah. It, do, do, do. I've got um this is this is I'm getting I'm starting to like these portraits. Oh. Maybe maybe this one can screw it up. <laughs> I um I used a little grid thing on it. I don't I'm starting to get a bit I was doing it this morning thinking um, I don't think I'm going to be doing much of a grid as my confidence gets as you build up your your ideas I'm starting to think you know I've even put a, a curve line down his nose thinking yeah there's the round bit then the chin and it would uh, it all comes together after a while with, you know the little sketching the the loomis method that i keep saying i'll post you a thing up but i'm sort of oh yeah i did it on there didn't i here it is i've got the bit of paper can you remember yeah. <laughs> i did that yeah. that um sketch mm. it sort of explains it it works really well when she's once you take the photo the what I'm, what I'm trying to to achieve at some point, I because when you're doing these pictures from photos, they 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 can be a bit two dimensional. Um, which is this doing this? At least at least it focuses you a little bit on the fact that the you're painting a ball really or a, an egg. <clears throat> I, I am one of, oh, while I'm thinking about it the queen one I'm still I still haven't finished my queen but I did do a background to it the other day that's nice it start it's making such a difference to it um and I but I did notice that I for some odd reason I painted the skirt dress coat whatever it is over a chin so I've had to I've let it dry off so that I can have a go at that later and then do her hat a bit more. So it is work in progress. And I just sort of say, I haven't forgotten. Um, one of the, I tightened up her eyes, worked on that. There's a few bits that need softening down. But one of the things I do do, or I found myself not, um, is using the, um, the water, the pastel skin tones colors. Don't know why, mm -hmm. but some. But occasionally, if, if I find something that needs touching up, just a bit of it, it's worth an extra yeah. couple of minutes just to, you know. Um, beauty of using pastels is you can just rub it, pretend you're doing makeup. Better not yeah. do it, as I'll, I'll rub it off. But I don't, <laughs> actually, actually, there isn't none on this. I. But I'm just saying it as a pointer that if you feel that, um, if you, obviously if you're watercolouring, that it doesn't look quite, 
doodah. It's an extra thing in your bow. <laughs> Last week, so I, I framed it up. My moon it looks quite Ooh. nice in the frame. Hang on. Yeah, see. they all look nice. Everybody's looked really good. Yeah, yeah, I thought so as well. Oh. I've lost my colour now. I've lost, I've lost the colour now. I was trying to do a zoom out. So <laughs> not a good. zoom. Yeah I'm, yeah, I'm quite chuffed with that. Well, I must be. I put it up for sale. <laughs> I think my colour scheme. I've got the, the camera. If I can press some buttons, I can get lots of different colours. Oh. Um, this one. This morning I was looking at, I thought, well, I've just put a little bit of a background wash on it. I thought, well, everyone knows how to do that, maybe. But, um, <laughs> and I've also gone back, Carol. Oh, no, no. No, it's the, I've got this, I've got oh, back, no. I'm using the Saints. I thought you were going to say Saints. Saint Peter, Saint Petersburg paints, and yeah. one of the things I was going to mention was the colour I use. Oh, I've got, a, I wrote it all down here. Ah, uh, yeah. So it's a, it says Naples orange and yellow ochre were the colours I used in the background. Well, I did, we I don't, got all those colours, though. Have we? Well, you've, you'll have an orange if you yeah, mix an orange, an orange and a a raw sienna yeah or a yellow yeah. but it doesn't really it's not that crucial it matter, does it really? yeah. not with the background i think <coughs> it's, it's the one place that you can have fun but i did i was watching someone the other day doing a, a portrait and i thought it was a good idea to they didn't do the whole background but they did part of the background and it especially the if you've got an edge over this side where it's, it's darker and it, it or it gives you an option to think well the lights coming from this side so that side's like that so it's a, an aid de memoir so mm -hmm. as you're painting you can you can say you yeah, well that side of his face or her face should be lighter or darker but trouble is with these photos a lot of these images they're front they're they're, they're front loaded aren't they there's the there's mm -hmm. no sort of if you look at um his jacket the, there's no real shadow in there is there? there's a little bit here in shadow so that means the light's coming from that side but it's brighter over the, anything oh i'll give up i'm just gonna <laughs> so in the end you just say cobblers i don't think this is going to be a i think we could be in a do anyone know what colour is? Oh, sort of a greeny, browny, yellowy, browny colour. Interesting. <laughs> okay. I to, um, wow! Everyone, every time I look at someone's eyes, they're not the colours that that I assume they. I don't know. Even that cat. Oh, I was looking. At, I couldn't find a cat's yeah. eyes. So, just stick a hint of green in, don't we? Um, the other thing I did, so I mixed up a load of, um, this is exactly, I've got a little palette here, that it's all flesh tones. And can, do you recall how we made flesh? Ah, it's gone quiet. Like my tube. <laughs> well, you can do it out of a flesh tint tube. Yeah. yeah. But the, um, just to recap, if raw you take, sienna. if you take, yeah, raw sienna or orange, any of those are sort of yellowy red, uh, yellowy red, yellowy colours. If you take, take those. Watch me brush off and um, use a little bit of. You can use crimson. This is a, a red. Look at that. As soon as you put it in, and then dilute it with some water and you get loads of different flesh colors and to add um, interest to it if you want to make it darker just add a bit of brown burnt burnt umber raw umber any of the browns depending on the the 
orientation of the person really and the darkness that's what i what i'm doing actually that looks like quite a nice color doesn't it anyway the digress i'm so i think i'm just going to go i'm just going to go in today just going to make clean water i think it's a good eye we're watercolors and as i said the other day chris um mm. the royal institute of watercolor includes acrylic paintings anyway yeah yeah it's done with water in it so that mm. you're you're inclusive not exclusive um, yeah. <laughs> Don't like being the outsider. <laughs> no. I think um, these painting these um, portraits in um, I was watching a demonstration from the Mao galleries the other day and the lady in there was an oil painter and um, I forgot what I was going to say now. Oh, bugger. It'll come back. <laughs> oh, it's, I had a split thought because I suddenly thought, God, you're working away and you're talking at the same time. And then I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> oh, God, help. The only problem with painting the background that colour is it interferes, <laughs> interferes <laughs> with the... Um, with the actual subject but it will do i think it's one of the i mean portraits is such a what do we call it busy concentrated type thing isn't it there's no hard and fast rules what are that's what i i'm coming to the conclusion um that one I did, um, that I showed you, Dave, mm -hmm. um, the shadows on that, they were, gosh, they were so strong. I kept, I kept losing the features and putting them back again. <laughs> yeah. But, um, what I, what I found is with pencil lines anyway, is to at least pencil where where you think there's cragginess cragginess is the is is the thing that makes the subject isn't it yeah. the features the um the lines that's all you can do really is look for them um i think the i think the more of these we do the the more confidence we're going to get I'm in the middle of my Zoom for art. Can I, can I, that's right, can I ring you back later? Yeah, carry that's on, right. love. So, um, <laughs> afternoon or I finish about half 12, I can ring then or later. The beauty of this is what? Um, you can, you can age or what, what euthanize. Make people younger, make them older. Right. <laughs> you've got, okay. you've got to oops. Right. Oops. All right. You see that? Yes. Okay. All right. I'll see you later. What I always find funny is, I, I'm, we're all guilty of it. Is when you get on the phone, you start shouting. <laughs> you don't realise it. Melanie does it when she's, and because James doesn't get up till, sometimes two o'clock or whatever and I'm going shh you'll wake the baby <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that he's only he's only he's only 35 Aww. bless him in this uh, as I say what I found handy was to um have a two palette well another palette and this palette because Stephen's not around anymore to destroy it. <laughs> um, I've kept, I've got a couple of these from somewhere, but they're, 
I've I've decided this one's my my pastel one, and I've got a, a sort of a rose um, madder type, you know, very pale, isn't it? Rose, rosy colour, and it works quite well on on um, some parts of skin and flesh uh, tones. So I'm I'm quite pleased about that. But I've also done what I said what I was doing earlier so if you want it different shades it's a bit like a makeup oh. um, <laughs> drawer um, and you can add a little bit I think that one in there is a little bit browner so you can always add a little bit of bit of brown or burnt umber to it to make it slightly darker and that's all it is isn't it it's just a question of um finding once you put a layer a foundation layer <laughs> that's so funny put your foundation layer on it's a question of just sort of teasing out other other sections there are um, as i say gradually this this one here this part of my tray here is um it's got white in it oh. it was left over in the palette so what i did was took some of that pinky stuff and put it in so i've got a really if i need it a really pale skin tone and you could use it on your highlights but beauty of watercolor is we don't do that do we we can just add um, a little bit of water and lift it off. Did notice he's got, I don't know what colour to use there. I'll, I'll just put a tad of grey on for now. Indicate that I haven't. Do you not find that you do that yourselves? Um, you put a little bit of colour on something to remind you that 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 it's actually there that there's something there that you need to address at some point <laughs> a shadow which is what what that was really isn't it mm. what i can't decipher on this image is the lips i was looking at it earlier and i'm thinking well is that a lip is it not a lip? Because it's got like the bit of the the lip sort of put, comes out. Pale, isn't it? Sort of that bottom bit. Yeah. Pale. And then, then I'm looking at it thinking, well, is that part of the lip or is it not? So in the end, what we can do is add it in. The beauty of um, the watercolours is that it stays um, wet for quite a while. So you can, ah, oh, that's what it was, Chris. Uh, <laughs> it came back to me. I told you it would come back, didn't I? What it was, the lady I was watching from the Mal Gallery, I mean, she was proper artist, portrait, you know, when it came yeah. um, she was doing a I don't know if it's her boyfriend or a husband or partner or what, but she said she'd painted him hundreds of times, so it's quite confident. But one of the very first things she did, because um, it was oils, was painted the whole of the canvas with um, linseed oil, not linseed, uh, turps. Mm. So um, the under. So as you're painting, it doesn't, otherwise the, the canvas or in our case, the paper, but it will work in the same context, will soak up all the image, will soak up all the paint, which you don't want. So by doing that, it keeps it, it kept all the, um, keeps the, the back, the surface nice and, fluid isn't it 
that's, that's not the right word, really. It's more, it keeps My it. I always get at them first. Yeah, but I was thinking about that. Uh, Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> maybe you should spray it. I, I think I always, um, acrylics is soak the soak it with water I always got water a spray spraying it as I'm using it anyway but mm. it sort of follows on none of the all these mediums they do you do the same thing on all of them and in watercolor I was just saying when I you know I'm keeping because it, it's nice and moist don't know what I'm there um means I can keep it keep it moving for longer. I think it needs to be a bit darker over here. But this is a bit like makeup. But I mean if ever I was a if I was a girl or a female side of me, it's coming out now. Mm. <laughs> a bit of blusher. <laughs> I, no careful. I start to know too much. Don't know the terms. <laughs> Be wearing Boy George next. Oh no. <laughs> We're not <gonna> do him. <laughs> Who hasn't sent me an image? Because what did I say? Oh, mine was George. Yours was Queen, wasn't it? Oh, I, I haven't. Oh, I haven't thought about it actually. Yeah. Oh. Get a wiggle on. <laughs> Whose was this one? This oh, is, it's mine. This is yours. <laughs> oh, right. Told you. This class will out. My, but, my great, greatest hero. <laughs> oh. It was a bit... Um, going back to that sort of period when I was a lad and Leonard Cohen was a bit, it was a bit like Marmite. Yeah. But did, uh, can I say most people didn't like him? I was going to say, yeah, it was, it was in that respect, you're right. It's not like Marmite because mm -hmm. most people, most of the, I don't think that it wasn't that they didn't like him. They just didn't understand what the hell was all about going on. Mm. Yeah. But I remember, um, Sarah, um, lady in my the my guitarist uh, partner in my band. This is not in the. This is going back five six years, um, um, quite often after a gig, it sort of could be anything from one o'clock to three o'clock in the morning. We go. It's in Bristol, so we'd all play back to Pete's house in Bishop's Bishopston, something like that. Oh, I can't remember now. And um, sort of wind down, have a beer or whatever, because you can't drink when you're playing or anything that sort of shenanigans. And uh, Sarah, his missus, used to put um, Leonard Cohen on in the lounge no that's how i sort of got got to know or got to i was gonna say hear more of it than like you say during the um late 60s and 70s when i was supposed to be into that sort of thing it was an acquired taste but i think all those years later i saw, suddenly thought there's more to this than meets the eye. I'm using the my palette here. There's a bit of um, dark browny colour, and I've just added just added a bit of blue to it. That woke me up. <laughs> it's phone day today. <laughs> Fame at last. I think I'm. I don't know if my drawing's wrong here. No, that's right. Oh well, you'll be having a dab of lift-off paint on there, I think. He's greyer than I made him. <laughs> <laughs> 
You love me for that. <laughs> I think this would be a great one for for the art group when we sort of meet up a bit in September, doing some portraits. You can see why George took so long mm. mucking about with them. Could be, he must it? have spent ages prepping canvases because he seemed to put layer after layer of whatever emulsion, whatever it was on it. Yeah, fascinating. I, 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 I obviously spoke to him and trying to work out because I thought I might be missing a trick. Mm -hmm. uh, what it was he was up to, and how, and um, I, when I, when I found out where I, he described it a few times, and I, I thought, well, I didn't really want to do it anyway. <laughs> I thought, well. And you used to prime the canvas and then sand it two or three times. Yeah, well, yes. so you get the um, the real nice watercolour. Yeah, because yeah. you can get it like um, the paper like mm. uh, marble. That's right. But I, but it, what he was what he was doing there was what I would do to the canvases that I was doing. Um, acrylics mm. on anyway because I, I used to like it to be really smooth I didn't like the, um, the colour yeah, uh, so I used to prime it and then rub it down with um, sandpaper a lot mm. so I got a really smooth uh, finish trouble is watercolour you never know if it well how we know as you paint it, it goes, it fades back, and the hot, you're never quite sure how much it's going to fade back, which is making the doing um, portraits makes it more, I don't know, harder, <laughs> makes it much more difficult for me, it does. But all I can glean from it all is a question of layers. And I, I went on a an art another artist's um, course a couple of months ago now. Well, before we before I decided that this would be a good sort of thing to do, and. Um, That was the main thing that I that I that I gleaned from that was well all you all you do is decide where the your your dark or shadow your mid tones different tonal values it all it all um, marries in to what what I was trying to achieve back along when I was rattling on about tonal values paint paint the mid tones then you you find your dark tones and sort of balance them off and, and gradually builds up your image that way and um it's even more so in uh portrait work i think that's a bit a bit fierce there i don't know for someone that's spent, that's still looking at his picture of the Queen, thinking, <laughs> and then discovering, do you know what? I've, I've painted over her coat. Can you believe it? <laughs> and uh, noses are, are always a bit touchy, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Makes no difference. I think the nose is the hardest thing to do. I think it, it is if you keep thinking about it. <laughs> I think that I think that 
my impression, my imp my decision on that was don't look at a nose. <laughs> the, more, the more you look at a particular human feature, the dafter it starts to feel, or <laughs> the more awkward it feels, or prominent, or sticks out. All those words start coming into play, and in the end, you can't you can't paint it because you can't stand the sight of looking. Well, every time you look at it, it doesn't look like what it's supposed to be. One of the colours I have got in my palette over there that's hiding just off camera is um uh, yeah it's that it's that there is it's it's a blob of gray that i've been um secretly i think he looks much younger at the moment than he should be and this needs lining out i'm okay with that I don't know. Um, I don't know why, but I'm drawn to Carol. Will love this. I'm drawn to adding some Chinese white within the picture at some point to soften things. I don't know what it is to make it. What's my feeling? What am I thinking? I'm thinking. I want it to be more solid. I want him to be more robust. The actual image itself. More masculine. <laughs> I don't think it's even that, Chris. I think it's it's the actual texture. What I'm thinking is the texture of the paint of the of the because I'm I'm doing a watercolor, so it's it's opaque. It's not opaque. It's sort of. Um, it's transparent obviously being bloody watercolour it will be but within my my thought process I'm thinking it shouldn't be like that ooh there's a bit of paint on there it should be more I want him to be more solid more less transparent whatever these lovely color in there it's an orangey color but down on this side i've still got on my paper it's a little bit of ultramarine and a little bit of brown burnt umber and mix they're not i'm not mixing them together as such i'm just sort of dipping my brush in it and dropping it on to where the dark bits are I just put but I think what you must do square him up and I'll put a little line there because there is a shadow there I, can't, I think I've lost this uh, shirt here mm. <laughs> oh, well. let's put it there for now mm. now it's there isn't it let's put it there Something there? No, I was right first time, Dave. It goes where the tie knot, where the knot is on the tie. So right, I just wanted to put a line there so I know where it is. And yeah, so if you're going to paint me in oils, Chris, paint the uh, <laughs> put turps on the canvas first. So in water in an in our water medium, we add, get the the canvas, soak it in water first. We're making sure it's nice and wet, so that the it um the paint will flow better. Yeah, it will keep it going. Well, that's they wouldn't do it unless it was necessary. And she's. That girl knew what she was doing. Mm. Had a triple barrel name, and and spec rather posh. Mm. Into the she uses the Florence school technique. She spent many years in Florence, and mind you, Anne knows all about that. 
because the lady in the high street in Blanford, uh, what's her name, Mrs. Valentine, Valentine Gallery, she did that. She's she spent a few years at um, twenty years even um, teaching at Florence School in Italy, wherever Florence is. I think it's Italy. It's coming together, isn't it? Yeah. I think the scary bit, and I don't know for the life of me what the right thing to do is um, is the eyes I, for uh, over in this palette I've got a little bit of stale green just over here so don't know why I'm just drawn to using that it's stale green. I'll, I'll try and leave a little dot in it. Um, but I'm not, it's not the the end all, be all and end all colour because I just wanted to put them in, put, put some in just to make it look like um, he's got a an end, an end in sight. What all we're looking for are craggy, uh, craggy eyes, craggy bits, and I think I really need new glasses because I, unless I change, I was thinking about it earlier. Maybe I'll change to my reading glasses and use those to give the the fine. The eyes, are, it goes all quiet when you're painting the eyes, even I, I'm looking at it thinking, uh, is that sort of deep in, take a deaf, a deaf breath moment. Notice I've put all my hands in all the, all this bit down the bottom. Because you, because we all know from painting Robins, <laughs> that as, how you paint the eyes, notes how friendly or unfriendly the flipping bird is one of the neatest color colors i've got is this little bit down here i'm using it more and more which is just blue with a bit of burnt um, burnt umber for some shadow work mm, quite it's such a nice thing to do though isn't it i bet you lot you're rich in i don't i don't I think that's what I said. You can imagine this at, um, at the church on a that size looking all right now. The um, <coughs> the thing to do is to use the flesh bit on the eyes as well because they'll they'll come in. They come in quite a lot, don't they? Paint what you see. Or what in my case, what you think you see, because I'm blind to bat anyway. <laughs> um, but what I was, I'm going to do it before um, before I go, before I let you lot loose on it, is to. I'm definitely got this. Um, I'm doing it deliberately over here making it darker than it should be. It's got a lovely Jewish nose. Or how you, you know, in New York. <laughs> it's got a bulbous bit on the end. And it, I was looking at it. That's the beauty of painting people. You suddenly look at things in a different different way. I was thinking, what if, what I, what, what you do notice, because we put, um, I'm using pencil marks, they distract you from the picture when you get to a certain stage. I think, looking at this, 
but uh, I don't know. I can't make up my mind now. That this craggy line should be more obtuse, but that's strange, isn't it? Because I put, I sketch that really well. So, and I definitely. So I'm going to pop that brush there. Doesn't matter where it goes. Cause... Yeah. Right. Oh, I've missed all that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Does... Is that... Oh, it's just the Parkinson's nurse phoned up about Peter. So. Oh. Oh. I did. Well, that's all right. Because we're on video, aren't we? Yeah, I'd have to watch yeah. it again. Yeah. That's the beauty. Well, unless I forgot to press play. Oh. <laughs> no, we've got it on record. No, because I stopped doing that, even though um, I think that, that line to my eye feels straighter there. And then Craggy's down more than I've got it. I think what's jiggering me at the moment <laughs> is, and that one's the same, is the, um, the pencil lines, as I say, they're, they're, um, they're making it they're making areas that aren't. Yeah, if you um, get them in the wrong place, it's difficult, isn't it? Yeah, and then and they're also making areas that I'm not intending to look sharp. Now I've, I've screwed it up now because I, I don't. I've I've already no. I'm not on about the picture. I'm on about my my view of the picture. All oh, right. Mm. Or there's certain elements. Remember what I was saying about if you if you look at a certain. I'm a bloody weirdo. If you look at a certain, <laughs> if you look at a certain aspect of a body for too long, you suddenly see a different. Like if you look at a a cloud, you see a dog. Yeah. And if you look at a, a certain part of someone's. Uh, face for a period of time you see a monkey and oh. now and now i've had it now you've seen a monkey <laughs> i've had it yeah <laughs> i've seen a bloody chimpanzee now that's that's it i've had it i'm poor old leonard mm. but i think this side could do with that was just raw sienna actually on there mm. nice color Earthy colour. Mm. I think. Where did I put it? Oh, I put raw sienna in the flesh. So that was the same flesh that I mixed up for you guys earlier using the the pink, and I just added a little bit of raw sienna to it because I wanted to make um, make a move on. This area, anyway, just wanted to frame his face up. And as the paper, as it's dried, it's drying a bit. It's the light, isn't it, that he's in? It's a yellowy, raw sienna type light. So I decided to encourage it rather than discourage it. This area over here, we can lift, that I put a load of colour in. I can now lift some of it out and the pencil marks are, are there. So, and his hat frames this here as well, which, yeah. Ooh. I think he's looking a bit like, could be anyone, couldn't it really? It's the same way as doing the queen. I was looking at, I was thinking, it's, what did I say? It's just an old elderly lady. It could be anybody's mum, nan, auntie. Mm. Maybe it's the these are the emotions that I'm describing that you that happen to you when you start painting portraits. Maybe that's why George did it because he loves he loved people. Mm. 
So maybe that was uh, part of part of his getting to know people. Part, you know, by painting a person, you 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 get quite intimate with them, don't you? Well, I, I am. I, I know bits of Leonard Cohen that I certainly didn't know about earlier. Thin brush. Don't need a lot of brushes, though, do you? Just a uh, just a couple of. Uh, all I've used is that little pointy one and the rigor, just to add a few sparkles here and there. But I must admit, and I'm, ah, there's some more of it there, that round here, look, around my chin. There you go. Now he's starting to age. <laughs> You can always sense him calling me a bee at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> I think, like I say, it, and I'll reiterate it over and over again that portraits are something that you do, you work on, and walk away and come back to. No, I know he has got two lines there, but they're not that thick. Uh -huh. Right, I'm going to move some pinky now. But this palette is really good. So if you can get... Oh, I ordered one the other day. Another palette from Jackson's. Therein lies a tale. <laughs> I was, I, it's, um, I don't know why, but since I've been doing this, um, sitting, well, you know, this sort of painting in this sort of way, I've had the urge to have a palette in my hand. And so I don't have to keep to and fro mm -hmm. it. And, um, I found one on Jackson's and it's got a little hole in it, like a proper artist one. And it's a folding palette. I thought, ooh. So <laughs> it wasn't dear. It was only about 16 quid. But that's only part of that tale. The other part is my son, David, because I'd done these pictures for him. Notice there's a, a dark, it's not a beard, it's a tash, but there's a yeah. an element of be aware of it. I don't know what colour you can yeah. use. I'm using this sort of I think it's just a it's just a sort of shadowy bit, isn't it? It could be a beard, but it's very, very, very faint. I'm hoping being watercolour, I can just use a bit of tissue to texture it off and look for a bit of shadow under his under his nose a little bit pink here i think we're gonna have to work a bit on his nose but then when it's dry i can rub off the pencil lines <laughs> that are really spoiling it for me and his um his eye i painted it with some green but i've got some raw sienna here which I'm now just going to put on on top of the green on top of the dark well, it wasn't green it was just a dark colour but it had green in it I always do have green in them don't they bluey green mm. so we'll see how he gets on because if he's if I'm looking at looking around and he's staring at me, <laughs> I flipping ate it. <laughs> when they well, I don't. They follow you around the room, don't they? Mm -hmm. It's horrible. Now what I'm going to do? Uh, 
is paint his hat. Have a think about that. Hello? I'm back. I didn't know you'd gone. I've been talking to you. <laughs> oh, I've, been sat here, I've been sat here talking to you. This is, this is a reprise from... This is, a, this, this is like the other Friday. <laughs> Did you hear my phone just go off? That one. Yeah, well, it, uh, it just, it was a message. It said that uh, my internet provider is turning my internet off in, in five minutes. Oh. I think it's a hoax call, but there you go. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah I'd ignore that. So yeah, that's well, what I'd hang on five minutes and see what happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was coming along. Yeah, what I was going to say was, um, I've painted this that colour. So, what for his for his hat? What I was thinking of doing was looking at because of local colour in it. So look for a complementary. So if I got something over here, so I don't know. I could go either, couldn't I? I could go anywhere along here, sort of purpley. And that'll match up with his shirt. So I'm going to make it damp and see what happens. I have no fear. <laughs> if, I can find, if I can find the, I don't care. Well, beauty is, and there's a lesson here, is, didn't touch the camera, did I? Yeah, okay. No. Um, no, sometimes if I touch the camera, it gets upset, doesn't it? Um, the lesson is, I've got a background of this colour. Well, it'd be nice to have an experiment or a view of what the, what the um, what the result would be if we d we don't stick with the what's on the on the image on the one we're doing, but think about how it's going to react to the background based on the medium that we're using. So, don't know why. I'm going to take paint straight out of the thing, which is a, this is a violet color. I've only, I'm just going to drop it in. I'm not worried about the, I should use the mop brush really. You get a much, much more water and a much slicker result. I'm just too scared. It's looking like the queen now. Steady, <laughs> steady. <laughs> handbags, handbags at the ready. No, well, I was, no, yes, because we saw that, wasn't it? No, mm. no, 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 Mrs. No, <laughs> listen. <laughs> No, I was just that was the undercolour before I put put a blob of blue on it. I just wanted to see because I was just playing complementaries. Maybe. Ooh. But the reason is we've got options. If it doesn't feel right, or later you look at it and you think, oh, I don't know. I Joyce is thinking Leonard Cohen would never be seen in a blue pinky hat. Oh, <laughs> true. <laughs> so, but this is just under colours. But I thought I'd do it just to see what happened. I don't think he was... Um, was he married? He was at one point, yes. Yeah, I think he married more than once. Yeah. I th well, I think he... Um, if I said he was a bit of a, a lad, maybe. Yeah. Well, you can see what I'm what I'm trying to say is just because I quite like that as it happens, but then again, I'm a weirdo, and I so uh, you got options. I don't know. I quite like that as an undercolor. I'm 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 in, I'm attracted to it. I'm just gonna lower the level down to a, a shallower degree because it 
I don't want the paint flowing too much. And then we'll add some some nice dark to it to that colour, which is what I was trying to emphasize was that by doing the underpaint as such, you can drop in the your real dark colour and get a much neater you'll get more more chance to play with the light don't forget i'm using watercolor so it's going to dry chris must be looking thinking i wish i could do that in in acrylics sort of let it all flow and blend and uh, mm -hmm. and and give me that option to and as it's drying as the paper dries off then you can look look at your hat and find um where you where you've see some darker areas and just drop them in and the water will flow and, and create the the impression you know the divot in his hat or the, the impression of it. But one of my initial thoughts as well is that doing it this way, it's, you're not set in stone right from the start. If you don't like it, you can add to it. You can add some more color to it. <laughs> Especially while it's damp like this, we can I think, um, and then when it dries, which it will, it's going to dry quite faint. Um, I'm conscious of the my left hand side. Uh, I like that. I'm going to see what happens. I I just I'm. When it dries, it's going to dry back considerably. And I've left a little. Sp I think actually, just think I've left a little bit of bluey, purpley colour there. But what I'm going to do, just damp off my brush, dry it off on that roll of tissue that Boris left me. Mm. And I'm just going to lay my brush on the rim and try and lift off a little bit of paint because there is like a, a highlight on the rim but not over the left hand side under here it's dark because so I've put so much water on it that it's gonna take quite a an event to make that go dark now. There you go, Leonard. Got your hat on now. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, whatever we do on the... Let's have a look while we're at it. I'll use the same technique, but I've got this mop. And sometimes, well, It'd be interesting to see what the the variance in washes are using the mop. Have I just gone over his? Yeah. It's all right. I dry that off with tissue. I would have made his shirt dark otherwise. Using the mop. And I'll use the same two colours. Soak up a bit of paint. Uh, trouble is, this has got much, much more water on it, so you need more paint to compensate. It does have a bit of a point on it though, so I can get fairly close to the the nitty gritty, the pointy bit, the um, the hard edges. I've really enjoyed this morning.
I don't know. I say that every morning, but I really have. I'm really just for a change. I'm not doing international rescue <laughs> on a on a painting because like was it last last Tuesday the moon thing? Everybody's saying see ya, see ya, and I'm thinking. And then some somebody said about the background, so I so I wiped it all off. <laughs> With a tissue and thought, oh, just, oh, yeah, you're right. I'll have a go at that. That was brown and it should have been blue. So that I spoke too soon, didn't I? Because I've just, I've just done exactly what I said. I was, I was relieved that I hadn't been doing. And now I put, the, I put brown instead of um, blue because the blue on the, on the jacket. Do you know what? He looks quite debonair. Mm -hmm. This is the easy bit, but it is important because it sets the scene for the whole, it's where all your, um, the light bit, his eyes are looking okay, actually. I put some, did you, well, you must have watched, I put the, um, that little bit of, raw sienna around around the, the colour that I put on. Now, I'm pretty confident that if I look at this later tomorrow or whatever, um, and I think the eyes look a bit piercing and are a bit dark, with clean water on the brush, a little dab on the eyes and a tissue, I could lift them out to make them um, a little less harsh, make them warmer. This is just, all I'm doing here is a mix of, I was here in crimson or a crimson blue, ultramarine blue. I've seemed to have gone back into favour with that lately. Ultramarine blue and burnt umber. I'll show you on the palette in a sec. Carol, you're in quits in here, mate. Right. This is all, uh, these are all been um, St. Peter and Pauline. Yeah. These, they're all St. Peter. Yeah, we should They're all St. The Petersburg paints. For his tie, I'm just going to lift off a little, this is the same brush. I'm not going to put it in too much. I'm just going to let it dry and then because there's a, a little bit of shadow down the side there. Oh, blimey. I just looked at the screen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, blah. Oh, what? Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? Well, I'm fascinated. Um, one of the things I was, one of the things I wanted to do um, I'm a bit, bit wary of, at the moment, is because it's really damp there. Uh, one of the areas I wanted to have a little play with. I have actually stopped. I stopped looking at the photograph about half an hour ago, which is scary. One of the things I was angling to do was to um, use some Chinese white on the ear to try and blend it down. I think um, I might have, I spoke too soon because I've got a a big blob over here so don't look at that part of the picture at the moment because that's going to have to be a, a little a workout there because the um there's only the the background's just come crouched in a bit so i just just need to work that out dry it off but the other bits i'm happy with i can i can see um some light in the end of the the tunnel. Oh, I'm going to get a bigger brush, slightly a number, I don't know what that is, number eight, something like that. 
and there's some of this pinky color give the give it a little spray and I'm just going to go over quite a lot of the face with that which one's the little thing just to warm it up Mm, it's looking a bit jaundiced before. Yeah, it's a it's a battle between um, letting it dry and then adding another layer. Mm. Um, and and then at some point, like lifting bits off and warming. Um, but I'm quite pleased with that. For a for a quick for a quick whiz over. The only bit I'm worried annoyed about is that bit over there on the left. But that'll come good. I I can fix that later. Um, and soften down some of these bits. I've still got this. As I say, the um, over on. I lost my. The other palette over this side on the little board. I've just got a dollop of burnt amber, burnt ultramarine blue, and a little bit of light red or raw sienna, uh, burnt sienna will work really well. Gives you that sort of um personal grey colour. It's a bit too much blue on that now, but a bit of burnt sienna in amongst it. Gives you a sort of a bespoke blue. Yeah, he thought he needs warming up. But I don't I'm gonna have to go away and think about that. And Bit more pinky on his nose, perhaps. See what I mean? You only got to put a little bit of. You just with these portraits, you just put a little bit of colour on something, and it changes the. My problem. Well, it's not a problem. The thing I'm. I need to do with this is. Um, rub out the pencil marks. Once I do that. It will look a lot, a lot tidier. I'm not doing a part two of this one. It's going to be what it is. Well, I'm going to tidy up a few bits like the background. Because as soon as I said, oh, this is looking all right today, it all went funny, didn't it? <laughs> but the beauty of um, what I did earlier was using um, colours that was ready in the palette, raw sienna and that 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 orangey colour for the background is I've got a, a lovely run back there, but it doesn't matter because when it's all dried back, um, I can go back over it because I know what the colours are and 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 uh, make it more interesting. I haven't seen it from the script. Well, there's a naivety about it. Um, different, different, different. But I'm not going to work on it too much more. So I don't know what time it is. Nearly 10 to 12. I said we'd have an early bath today. <laughs> um. With the pencil marks, do you just rub them out when, when the picture yeah. is dry? Because I've, yeah. I've done that. I've... Yeah, I will. On yeah. some of them, it, it's all damp at the moment. But yeah. yeah, as it dries back, then that's what we'll do. Do you know what? All said and, all said and done, that's, he ain't, I don't know. I think I might add a bit of oops, a bit of oops. <laughs> well, sometimes I, these St. Petersburg paints, I don't know, well, you, 
they they're much they stay soft. If you um, put uh, make them damp, the other ones like the I was going to say the boring ones like Dale Rowley and the other ones I've got. You leave them in the palette, and they get um, they go quite firm. But the St. Petersburg ones, <laughs> you put your brush in, and you get a blooming dollop of paint on the end. They say they're so soft. That's better. That's um, raw sienna. I just put some. Just I squint my eyes up. And I was looking at, because uh, I haven't been looking at the picture for about, well, quite some time now. Um, and I just looked at it then and thought, well, yeah, we could afford to put some stronger colour in. It's just raw sienna. That's better, isn't it? Well, mm -hmm. it feels better to me. Well, if, if I'm coming, I'm just putting it on the left-hand side to try and give it some sort of curvature even though I've got um, yeah I, I'm I've, there's a bit there that I he needs to go and see an eye surgeon <laughs> <laughs> he's got a he's got a big mole yeah. <laughs> he's got a big thing growing ah oh, talking of so my daughter Emily went to the dentist for treatment. Um, she had anorexia when she was younger, and it sort of affected the way her teeth um, grew. But she's no, she's an, a young mum now with a couple of kids and all the rest of it. But she went to the dentist and had some of her teeth um, repaired. It's like a bloody model now. Mm -hmm. so, I'm so, so pleased for her. Because like all these, for years, all the, she's been sort of, she's, she's smile and laugh, but she always puts her hand over her mouth. And I, for, I used to, I remember when she first got married, saying to Ben, you know, anything about him, if, if she was to have her, you know, go and see a dentist and tidy her teeth up, she'd be, bloody stunner and she has and she is no. I'm so pleased for her but and the funny thing was she, she won't mind me if she listens she, she won't mind me saying but yesterday she was saying like even though she's just had her you know her teeth she's got a beautiful smile now she still goes like that with her mouth with her hand on <laughs> and she's laughing Habit. yeah so it's going to take a while for her to get yeah to get into the swing of it i'm so pleased for her well it's like she's saying because she's she works she's got she works for nationwide and um she has got quite um in that sort of field at the moment quite big potential to do some you know to get really to, to move up the the ladder sort of thing mm. and uh those sort of things make a difference in that. They shouldn't, but they do. There's no doubt about it. Especially when you're meeting people and all that sort of stuff in that type of industry. It's important, isn't it? So, or it, it matters. Don't know whether it's important, but it does. It does make a difference. There you go. Mm. I'm really, I'm really chuffed with that. Mm. I just He's need to sort, good. just sort out a few bits. But when, when. When they're soaking wet, it's a good idea. And I, I know some. I, ooh, you just got a dollop on his chin there. Um, I don't like. On these sort of things, I I don't like using a hairdryer. I w I want them to. That it does make a difference to let them dry. Let the paint do its business in the. What I was saying earlier, there's a. 
just bear in mind there's a shadow to behind his tie so that that's important and his shirt's a different color he has got a pink shirt no i haven't <laughs> but i haven't got any pink that was i thought that was pink but it had gray from the previous thing but we don't have to we can just make it make it an off colour, can't we? Oh, that's a bit of pink. Just use some clean water and let it spread around. But this ain't going to be permanent anyway, because I'm going to tidy it up. Maybe. Yeah, I'm going down Bournemouth Pier in the summer. <laughs> Hello, mate. Do you portrait for you? <laughs> just sit down there, mate. Portraits <laughs> while you wait. You have to wait about two hours. You might be lucky. All right. I'm sure we'll get slicker and quicker at it. Yeah, I quite like that. He looks like somebody I know, but I can't find, figure out who it is. Well, I won't leave it. It won't be like that forever. We'll tighten it up and tidy up a few bits here and there. Well, quite a few bits. But like I say, I think for a quick workout, it's quite nice. This tie could go over a bit. Yeah, but these are little things that we can tighten up later. And there's a shadow down here as well. So once that's tidied up, put a little shadow there, that give it even more depth. So that's the things that we've got to look for now um, as over the next sort of period and also there's a bit there that isn't that thick which will make a big difference and because we're using watercolor the other thing we're going to do is using clean water is go over parts of the, the picture and look at it and think oh that's a bit too dark there so by doing that softening it down and clean tissue we can just lift lift portions off and make it look much, much, much more nice. And little, especially where you get areas down here where there's a line. He's got a frame line, hasn't he? So just by doing clean water on the brush, and there's one there by his eye, you can just lift it off mm. quickly with the brush. Don't need much, and you'll get the lines. And that will add even more information more features to it this bit here like it's a really difficult area do you make it dark do you make it how dark do you, do you make it if you make it too dark it makes him stand out more than he should uh, yeah I'm, i mean they're watercolors aren't they i think his eyes i'll have a think about that but what i was saying earlier that as they dry, when they dry off really well, if you use clean water on the brush and just dab a bit on the eye, you can lift and just tissue. You see what it's done? It's it's mm -hmm. lift. You you'll get um you'll get that shadow, that light on your eye. Um, you can, it's really difficult to do it now, but equally with the um. It made a difference that because I've got a little highlight, it makes it look transparent. Mm. And there's also the white bit of the eye is at the top on that side. So it's really difficult to do it now, but when it's bone when it's dry, then you can just squiggle up and down on the bit where you want the highlight and then just tissue and it'll come off. And if you make it too much with a damp brush, you can just lift it back, push it back in. That's one of the reasons why my little methodology and technique of utilizing the edge of the paper is ideal because tomorrow or the next day or whenever, I've still got parts of the original color and these bits here so 
and that's one thing you can do with watercolors rehydrate it and just drop it in there's that little pinky bit there so if i want a little bit of pink that i knew that i painted um the picture using i can just tease a bit in subtle it's all the subtle bits after this isn't it like add in little bits there when i i'll um his nose i'm aware of that i need to get rid of those pencil lines with my trusty squishy rubber look what the moon did to it the moon made my squidgy rubber all brown all blue yeah. <laughs> oh, i was rubbing off some it i don't know what it was and i looked down and i thought oh no My little little squidgy rubber well i'm really chuffed with that can you just use an ordinary rubber though when you're rubbing out pencil yeah yeah that's the, i've got that squidgy one but i got a backup which is one of those sort yeah. of yeah. rubber rubbers and i've oh, got another one I don't know if Chris gave me that one. It does look no, familiar. Where yeah, one? Yeah. But that's, were, another, that's a similar one. Yeah. I like the putty rubbers. Yeah. I've got quite a collection of those. Mm. I've even you got one. On, you have to keep on squeezing them and turning them to get, like you say, to get rid of the colours that are on there. Lyra. That's another one I've got there. That was a good thing about that scrawler box thing that I used to get every once a month that had um they used to send like rubbers kits looks a bit like a Van Gogh painting like that mm -hmm. it's good well I think the um hang on a minute two secs let's uh Dave I'm gonna have to go when you gotta go, you gotta go. I gotta go. You know, you know what's happened, don't you, <laughs> Dave? I love it. He looks as though yeah. he's just about to grab a microphone, which is fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see you all next time. Take yeah. care. Okay, bye, bye, bye. 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 bye, bye, bye. I'm quite pleased with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks good. Well, it doesn't look. It's not good, good, but it. It's it's the foundation for something much nicer. Ooh. Well, you can definitely see who it is. Well, I'll decide that tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Gordon's doing his makeup. <laughs> He's leaving on a jet plane soon. Yeah. <laughs> Get my phone to work. Dan's going to phone me off, and it's not working. Oh. Anne's going to ring oh. you up. You have to tell me to come and pick her up. Oh, you've dropped her off? Yeah. I didn't. I went. Drop her off at the hairdressers. <laughs> Was it something? I hope it wasn't what I said. No, no. no. <laughs> Has she found it? another hairdresser's then? Yeah, it's one by Marks and Spencer's. They converted it from the uh, ladies and gents' toilets when they decided Blanford didn't need any toilets. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, <laughs> he's got a fame. I've been watching you on mute, mute now. I've been trying to sort of... I'm going to work on that. I'm, I'm, Chrissy, I think we're getting into this portrait art. Oh, I am definitely. Oh dear. <laughs> they're, they're definitely well you gotta send me one, remember? Oh right, okay. But I've got to as well. I have to have a think about that one. Yes. Yeah. Well you only got you haven't got to send me the pictures, just send me the the person and I'll find a blood blooming picture for it. Right. That's what Joyce did. Oh. Oh, right. So that takes a bit of the angst out of the equation. Yeah. I'm going to work a bit more on this. It will be in a watercolour. It's always going to be a watercolour. So yeah. there is that um, 
which is what I like. I think I'm gonna enjoy this one. Well, I I love my queen. I really yeah, yeah. I'm really chuffed with that. Mm. It's not often yeah. I do, not often I do a picture that I wouldn't sell. Yeah, I was but, pleased with the queen. Yeah, I ain't I ain't flogging her. I'm putting her up on him in the office. <laughs> gonna... I've got I've got Jamie in my bedroom. Ah, it looked quite nice there. <laughs> <laughs> well, sweet dreams. <laughs> <laughs> That's my little secret. <laughs> That's um fair enough. <laughs> I could I ain't well no nah, I don't I've gone off all that sort of stuff. I just finished watching Count Arthur Strong's final series three so that's cheered me up <laughs> you've got to be into it to know you've got to know about it to do it i love him mm. that is so funny there's not many things that make the comedy shows that i'll just sit there and i just i don't i don't what like any comedy really yeah it's not it's it different feel? It's situation comedies that are much nicer. Yeah, true. Much nicer. Mm. I tend to see so much comedy around me, just normal day-to-day -day things, you know, see funny things in that, don't you, a lot? Or I tend to. Any queries? Any questions on painting this then? Come on, Carol. Oh. Well, I don't know. <laughs> it's all right drawing it out, and then you start, and then you think, oh, it goes wrong. Well, I did start off with a flourish by set by mixing up the flesh tone, and then what was the over... flesh again? It was crimson and what color? Raw sienna. Raw sienna, right? Um, and plenty of water, and you can add, um, you can add orange brown to darken it or brighten it whichever you want to what i tend what? to do what i tended to do was mix up um as you see like three or three three to four different yeah, strengths it's a good uh, idea, isn't it? and then i can add more water and just spray water and it makes it lighter but mm. uh, what i was going to say was i got over the inertia a bit like painting a, a landscape by mixing up a, a weak wash of fleshy tone and painting the whole face with it right from the start. Right. So it's a nice light tonal yeah. value. Otherwise you'll be think you you'll be thinking, oh I'll put a bit, bit there. No, don't do that. Just paint the at the end of the day, the whole skin is a colour. The rest of it is tones and anomalies as much as mm. shadows tones and anomalies so what, really what color, yeah what color did you put on the eyes i missed that i was out on my phone call um uh, well it's what i look. did uh, yeah what, creamy, sort of. yeah i started off carol i had um one of your mucky colors yeah one of the dirty colors <laughs> on the palette was a dirty green right okay it was just been there it's like a really horrible sappy sagey green with dirt in it so i thought mm. <laughs> so i put that on it first but it, it was quite dark and just left it and then as you saw it just um mm. but while it was as it dried off a bit then i put um some raw sienna on top of that right okay so that gave it a green with a with a glow and i just lifted a bit off with damp just to show that to get that sort of little glaze in it, glaze in the eye, you can just when it's dry. I'd normally do it when it's bone dry. Just put a damp brush on it. Mm. I'm making loads of movements here with my hand. Nobody's looking at my bloody face. <laughs> we're, looking at, we're, looking at, we're looking at the, the wrong thing. <laughs> <laughs> so oh. yeah, so uh, when it's you just put put the brush on, just damp it. Up. Okay. Right, dab water, okay. dab it, and then tissue it straight right. away, and you'll get that nice sort of. But that's a beauty of watercolor, isn't it? That if 
um, even if the eyes were wrong, too too dark, um, mm. and it, you didn't like the colour at all, wrong colour even, leave it to dry so everything else is around it's dry and just go like round it off in the yeah. tissue it off and you can start again. Right. <laughs> Get that sort of transparency. Right. I usually end up doing things twice. It always goes wrong the first time. Well, I don't think it's much better the second time, but <laughs> I forgot I forgot I put your um ones from yesterday up online. All right. They were great. I just had a job with her eyes. I made her look younger. Yeah, every ah, oh, she loves that. <laughs> <laughs> she loves it. Um, oh. Yeah. Oh, here it goes. Carol Wellman Webb. She looks. If if someone has said that was a Carol Wellman painting of the Queen, I'd go. Yeah, I reckon that could well be. <laughs> Go okay, go. Okay. Oh yeah. She mm. looks she looks quite pretty there. Yeah. <laughs> a very uh, cheeky smile. Yeah. I'd like to do just eyes. I like eyes and I do the animals' eyes. I always like doing the eyes, but I think mm. you've got to do them bigger to get them really good, haven't you? Yeah. They're, they're still not right. I think I made the mistake of drawing the line under her eye, which I noticed you didn't do with this painting. You just um, done. What didn't I do? Sorry, I'm... Well, when I drew the eye, I I sort of did a line un, a line under the eye. Okay. Yeah. Wow, you're a makeup artist. <laughs> I got another one. Hey, it's look at that then. That was the other one. Yeah, that's good. I framed him up for her. Look I tell that. you what I did when I did the circle. I did a pyrex bowl and yeah, I, left I, did. It, I left it there. I made the mistake of leaving it to dry. And then I had this thick rim all around the outside then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I did I did it with um a plate as well uh, yeah. at one point. And um well, I didn't like to take it off when all the paint was all wet, so I just left it because I suppose where it had gone under the Pyrex dish, yeah. and I thought, oh, blow. Well, no, <laughs> in a way, mine was even funnier because last Tuesday afternoon, I thought, well, I can't leave it like that. I've got to sort this out. So it dried off, and I dried it back. And I put the plate back on, and I used got the masking fluid and went round the plate. Of course, that left mass as I lifted it off, it stuck. <laughs> the plate was stuck to the paper. So uh, as you can oh see that. <laughs> so, <laughs> of course the plate's got loads of masking fluid all around the outside of it. Oh so, gosh. Yeah. That was quite fun. I thought, oh god. Well I just it. I just used it. Mine was um my painting, I noticed you put the size on there for some reason on the gallery. 12 by 16 and it's not it's just a tiny one it's one of the smallest ones i've ever done <laughs> so i don't know why, why you put the size on mine and you didn't want anybody else's and the size was wrong but anyway do you do yours on canvas chris or are you doing it on yeah. paper no 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 on canvas on canvas on box canvas yeah but i just used a lid and um i did all the background no, I didn't. Oh, what did I, I threw the circle round, and then I didn't. I didn't leave the the lid on there when I was painting. Well, I don't no, know where that. Came from. Yeah, I just where went. Do I, uh, don't know I where I got twelve by sixteen from. No, nor do I. <laughs> I think I think it's the size of the, the frame picture oh, of that cat. Friend. I think that's. I might have written it down on a bit of paper and thought, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. yeah. Well, only take a sec or knock it off. Yeah, well, it don't make any difference, but right. it was it was actually a tiny one. Ah, because I'm saving my bigger canvases for bigger things. Yeah. <laughs> not more, not more boy band pictures. <laughs> no, 
not in a boy band. Oh. All right. Them in pole dark or whatever it is. Outlander. Oh. Has anybody else watched that? No. What's that? Prime. Outlander. No, I don't know. Have you got Prime? No. Video? No. Oh. no. It is. Oh, it's brilliant. Anyway, I should start, you know, slobbering again if I keep talking about. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh gosh! <laughs> hey, little of what you fancy and all that. Yeah. Yes. Mm. I just couldn't get him looking as sexy as he does in the picture, though. Who is it? <laughs> who is it? It's in it then. It's Sam Hewen. Oh, I don't know who that is. I'm terrible with names. I know faces. Yeah. yeah. Well, you might. No, I don't think you would recognise him from the picture that I painted. <laughs> oh right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. my screensaver now all oh, right yeah. <laughs> all right well we'll see what we can master up this yeah week. yes indeed should be interesting yeah see if we can think of some names of people yeah what's we'll something interesting really yeah, I know. yeah i know yeah mind i quite like all the old actors isn't there like yeah. um Gary Grant, is it Gary Grant? What the about old Clint Eastwood? All yeah, he's, <laughs> he's quite rugged, isn't he? He is, yeah. Yeah, I, I like Clint Eastwood. Yeah. <laughs> they are, Dave, there's one for you. What Clint about Eastwood. Muhammad Ali? I've only said that because people have been watching him. He was he, he had a lovely face when he was young. He was so good looking. Yeah. That would be a challenge doing coloured skin. Yeah. yeah, should we have him? I'll have him then. That'd be a challenge for you, Dave. Right. <laughs> and I'll have Clint Eastwood. There you go, Dave. That's it. So I've got Cass for the rest of the day. <laughs> Cassius Clay and Clint, Clint Eastwood. Uh -huh. Should we have him when he's young, shall we? Um, That's why I said it's Cassius Clay. Yeah, yeah, because he had a really pretty face, really, when you looked yeah. at him. He had a lovely face. Mm. Yeah, quite a baby face. Yeah. There was, a picture, there was a picture of him there just because it was like his life story just before yeah. he died. Oh, he just looked, he looked so different. Yeah. yeah, really sad. Peter shouldn't be watching it really, but he did. But anyway, never mind. <laughs> yeah, we'll have a go of those. Yeah. Yeah. Well, sting like a butterfly. The only yeah. one who the lady, look, the queen. Mm -hmm. So we ought to have some more ladies, don't we, didn't we really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what about, about Marilyn? Marilyn Monroe, but then loads of people paint her, don't they? Yeah. Elizabeth Taylor. Yeah, Audrey Hepburn. Yeah. That'd be a good one. That'd be a good one. What, well, Audrey? Yeah. Yeah, That's... I like but... her. In black and white. That'd be yeah. good. Yeah, okay. Audrey Hepburn monotone. Yeah. It's like a... no. <laughs> oh no, not her. <laughs> I don't know if my brushes would rent would allow me to do that. <laughs> well, I think we've got enough to be getting on with, then. Yeah, we? yeah. Well, it's like I said the other day. A few weeks, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think so. Um, but like I said. The beauty of painting portraits is you never run out of subjects. No. Oh, God, no. True. <laughs> True. And they keep evolving as well. Yeah. So it's great. Mm. It's a good thing to do, isn't it? Well, I suppose the more we do, the better we get at it, hopefully. Yeah. Well, I, th I think, yeah. I think you can imagine sort of this time next year, we do like do two in the morning. I can't get them loose enough, though. I just sort of paint them. Um. I'm a bit yeah. like that as well, a bit I, solid colour sometimes. And that's why I said, that's why I started the way I did, that yeah. I made the whole yeah. face wet and well, then made, it, yeah. and then yeah. put in, then filled it in with a light flesh tone. Look at your yeah. arm, look at any yeah. part of your body, it's all one colour. Yeah, and then just the dark a bit. Yeah. But I seem to get runs. Yeah. Where, that's, where the water that's too much water so on these right. portraits is it better to use the smoother side because on my my 
paper, I've got a rough side and a smooth side. Pass on that. <laughs> oh, right. It should be using, it should be using the that. rough side. Oh, you should, side. right. Well, I do most of the time, yeah. Yeah, they're not finished. The other side might not have had any um, any size on it, so it'll go all Oh, is that why it is? Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> it'll, it'll go a bit like blotting paper, probably. I think one would be quite nice done in um, pastel. Might have a go because you can rub all the colours. Yeah. Might look quite nice. Yeah. Don't know. Mm -hmm. That's not watercolour medium, so we won't be able to display that at the um, Royal Exhibition. <laughs> oh <dear. laughs> they have their own special one, the Pastel Society. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> Well, I can make it wet, and then it'd be like sort of. Oh, that's what that's what I do, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> On that note, I'm I'm going, girls and boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's dinner time. I'm, I'm starving. Yeah. Well, bargain okay. hunts have started, so I'm watching oh. that. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. See you bye. Sweet. Yeah. Then. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Have a nice holiday. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you're going on holiday? No, no, oh, it's not Gordon. yet anyway. Gordon no. and Anna are going away. Oh, at the end of the month. Yeah. At the end of the month, on the oh, 28th. Wait. Oh. Um, wait. Yeah, me and Anna Gordon are going just for a weekend. Um, oh, wow. Anna Gordon are going somewhere else as well. Oh. I think I've got to sort my caravan out a bit first. Right. Oh, are you going to be away for weeks on end? No, or no, no. The... No, Gordon and Anne, you usually go away. Yeah, we um, come back about November, I think. Yeah. October, he said. <laughs> oh, yeah. right. Oh. October, yeah. <laughs> we'll be popping back to odd weeks, but uh, mainly we're away. Oh, wow. That'd be nice. Gosh. Yeah. Did you see them all going to Portugal yesterday? It looked so lovely, didn't it? The yeah. sun and yeah. blue sky. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's getting on a plane at the moment. Oh no, yeah. I mean, the weather but here is so. The weather would be nice, wouldn't it? But I think next week it's going to improve, isn't it? I hope so. Hope yeah. so. I've had enough yeah. rain, haven't we? I know. I know. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, right. I'm doing Okay. Right. Okay, see what. Oh, thanks okay, very much. Then. Yeah, thank Bye. you. See everybody next week. Bye. Yeah. Bye. 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 Thanks, Dave. Bye. Bye.